What's up everybody, this is Slowscape, and I've got a little ducking slash side chaining tutorial here for you. Um, meant to bring this uh, to you a lot sooner, but um, didn't really happen, uh, mostly because of this guy here. Um, it's been awesome, but yeah, I, I haven't had a lot of time at all. So um, this is uh, this is going to be for the AE modular the starter rack 2. Um, this also works with the uh, starter rack 1. Uh, I checked all the modules there and should be good to go. So um, I'm just going to try and get through this real quick. Um, I currently have a uh, square wave going into the WASP filter. WASP filter out into this uh, 2 VCA and that uh, combined with this uh, envelope is going to provide the kick drum sound. Um, and then we just have a really simple tune uh, going to this VCO and uh, we're taking the triangle wave of that and that's going into the second input on the 2VCA. Um, so that's just the basic setup here. Um, all, all of it's being controlled from the uh, BeatStep Pro right now. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. We will take the sound, the kick drum sound from the 2VCA. We'll wire that into the mixer and I'll let you hear that. Wasp filter really does a good job of uh, providing kick drum sounds. Um, you just really got to mess with these um, knobs here and here and, and you'll be able to get something real good. Um, one thing to note on the two uh, envelope, uh, you're going to want it set to trigger and fast. Um, next thing we will do, um, uh, let's see, what we need to do is we need to take another instance of this uh, envelope and we need to um, run it to this attenuator and uh, you'll see that it's just one for one it's it's the same thing um, and here's where the ducking or side chaining comes in you'll actually take the inverted version of this and you'll send that back to this uh, VCA um, I'll let you just see a visual of what that looks like see here every time the kick drum hits you'll see that this, uh, this other light is, is the exact opposite of it. And that is the ducking. That's what's going to control the ducking. So if we send that directly to this CV2, we are now uh, applying the in inverse of um, this envelope to this VCO and, um, and it'll be ducking as soon as I run the sound. So take out two, send it directly to uh, that channel in the mixer and we should have a ducking effect. So pretty simple. Um, cool thing about uh, doing the ducking effect on the uh, uh, attenuator, 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 I don't know, what is it? I have no idea. I'm just, this is all new to me. I just tinker around, honestly. Um, so if I could do it, you could do it. <laughs> uh, you could actually adjust the intensity of, of uh, how much this, this envelope is actually um, seen by the, by the, uh, VCA. So I'll turn this knob and you'll see that uh, we can actually get a solid sound out of it. Um, so you could really adjust and fine tune how that ducking sounds. And that's uh, right there, that's just the raw, um, basically, uh, VCO sound. Um, with nothing, nothing really happening. And then uh, we could bring that kick drum in. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So that's all it is. Um, pretty simple. Uh, oh, I guess one thing to note here is you will want um, you'll want these both to be set to uh, in one, um, well, whatever one you use. But uh, you'll want whatever one you're using to be set to in instead of uh, plus five volts. Um, and that's the only trick with that. And uh, oh. Before I get forget, there's two there's two other ways to do this real quick. I mean, you could do it through the logic that also has an inverted uh, inverter. Um, so you could do it through the logic uh, in three uh, invert one or no invert three. So uh, yeah, you could go ahead and take it out of that. Um, that'll work just fine. You just won't have the control over it. It's the only thing. Um, you could also run. Uh, the inverted version. Um, well, you could. Well, I guess I could just do it for you real quick here. I'm just running it from here because that's what I have set up. Um, but you could run it directly to the second gate and control that gate. And the cool thing about doing it this way is, um, let's see, out two into CV two here cool thing about doing it this way is you can now fine-tune the sound uh, with the attacking decay on this second envelope. Um, the only problem is you no longer have another envelope um, should you need it for something else in your patch. So uh, yeah, basically three ways to do it that I've found. Um, oh, the, the one trick here is you're gonna want you're gonna want your um, the second envelope here, you're going to want it set to gate, otherwise it won't work. Um, so that's the only thing there. So you can kind of have fun with it. Um, there's a lot to do. Uh, yeah, hopefully this helped. Hopefully this was a helpful tutorial. Um, hopefully I didn't stutter too much. Uh, you know, I'm not used to talking on, on a mic. So uh, hopefully it helped. Anyway, we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.